My name's Ned. This is my dog, Jai. And today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Power BI admin settings. In particular, a few settings that can help ensure that your platform is governed and your data is secure. So with that, let's go ahead and let's jump into the Microsoft Power BI admin portal. So first things first, we're going to go to app.powerbi.com. We're then going to go ahead and we're going to go and click this little gear icon right here to access the settings pop out and then click admin portal. Now, all of the settings that we're going to be talking today are tenant level settings. And so that means you're going to need some extra special access on your Microsoft Power BI tenant. Now, the average Microsoft Power BI user probably doesn't have these settings, which is why I'm making this video on these governance tools, because they're incredibly important. And just because they aren't enabled on your tenant doesn't mean that if you were to have a conversation with your Microsoft Power BI admin, that they wouldn't look to help you enable them or set them up on your own tenant. So for example, Jai here really wants me to stop allowing the export of Excel. He though doesn't have admin access, so he came to me and now we're making this video. So that brings me to the first setting, which is the setting that allows users to create Microsoft Fabric items. This is a really important setting because if you have users ramping up, for example, databases uh, who aren't super skilled with them, it can get really expensive really fast. Now with all these settings, what you'll see is that you can typically enable or disenable them for either the entire organization or an Azure security group. If you don't have admin access on your own and you're asking an admin to set this up, it's very important to talk to the admin about who you want in that security group because I would <laughs> never recommend having these kinds of settings enabled for the entire tenant. The next setting that you can control is actually kind of a surprising one, and that's the ability to create workspaces. Now, most tenants just have this enabled so people can create workspaces as they please. However, I would actually recommend disabling this, and that's not because you don't want to create a form or a place for users to request to the admin, hey, can I get a new workspace, but just because disabling it essentially then kind of forces the analysts or the people that are using your larger Power BI instance to come to you and have a conversation about why they want to use Power BI. And you'll always be a better Power BI steward if you understand what your end users are actually doing on your platform, because then you'll be able to look for ways to better help them or better support them, you know, with purchases or training or other kind of things like that. And now, finally, here's the big one, how to stop your end users from exporting data to Excel, or at least how to stop the majority of them from exporting to Excel. And frankly, it's pretty simple. You just go down here to the export and sharing settings and disable um, export to Excel and export to CSV. And just like that, your end users can't export data. If you did want to enable it for a specific security group, you could just specify that security group there. And that way you could have, for example, a group of executives who could export data uh, without having to allow everyone in the company to do it. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed learning about these admin settings and want me to make a vid more videos about some more super duper extra special settings, let me know down in the video comments. And with that, I hope you <laughs> have a good evening and please consider subscribing. Sorry for the cut. I had to let the dog out. <laughs> talk to you later.